Mike has been looking forward line. to this moment. <laughs> you don't have to go far to get up close and personal. Nope. Yay with some exotic animals. <laughs> yes, Jared Forthman from Animal World Snake Farms who joins us to show how their animal family is growing and of course how folks can have some animal encounters like this one, which Mike, again, is so excited for. He hasn't stopped talking about <laughs> this it. This is Caleb, by the way, who's also <laughs> helping to hold the, the beast. Yeah, this is Hercules and he's one of the, the favorites to book animal encounters with where you can get up close and personal, get pictures with your family and stuff. but. Uh, Hercules is just about 15 feet long, weighs just over 100 pounds, and like I mentioned, he's one of the favorites uh, that's out during a lot of our educational shows and, and stuff. He's an albino. <laughs> that's right. Python, right. That's correct. So he lacks any dark pigment in his skin. Okay. So this would be kind of rare to find in the wild. He feels really strong. He is. He's uh, <laughs> what's known as a constrictor. So Hear that? lovely. Yeah. He just gives really tight hugs. <laughs> Does he feel like he's giving you a hug, Mike? <laughs> now, they have poor eyesight, right? But they mainly use... That's right. Uh, Bernie's pythons particularly uh, don't have good eyesight at all, and he's relying on that sense of smell. Mm -hmm. So he can tell, like, okay, Mike doesn't smell like a rat, so he's most likely not food, <laughs> Thank right? Thank you. It's the nicest compliment you've ever paid me. <laughs> That's right. Uh, and as big as this guy is, you have one bigger? That's right. God. As impressive as Hercules is, is we have a new display out there with what is possibly the largest snake on display in Texas. And we're going to be getting her out to weigh tomorrow and get an actual length on her. So keep an eye on our Facebook page for the results of that. But she's already on display. So folks can giant, see her already. Giant reticulated python. He'll, and yep, she's ready to ready to view out see? there. She, yeah, you'll, he'll be there this afternoon. <laughs> oh, yeah, I bet. <laughs> No. <laughs> so um, how often uh, do they need to eat? Uh, at this size, mm -hmm. he gets offered food every three to four weeks. He may not always eat that much. Mm -hmm. They have an extremely slow metabolism, and he's not growing very much in his older age. So uh, he doesn't eat too often. Okay, just in case he's hungry, we'll put him down now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Since it is hump day, got your brain, yes. man. Yes. Jeez. Okay. You Wait, brought someone who's arm. been he's on got, this show he's got before that when, <laughs> when she was a little, little, little one. That's right, yeah. that's right, when she was uh, just a little baby. Emily Jaffe mm -hmm. is taking care of, who is this? This is Katarina. She's one of the camels that lives at the Animal World and Snake Farm Zoo. Okay. And as you were saying right off the very top, it's 40 is the number all about camels, That's right? the magic number for camels. So they can live to be up to 40 years old. They can run 40 miles an hour and they can drink up to 40 gallons of water in one sitting. And how long will that last them before they need water again? So 40 gallons of water would last them about a month in pretty extreme situations, but they would want water a little bit more frequently than that, but they could last about a month on 40 gallons. And you said most camels nowadays are domesticated. Correct. Um, they've actually been domesticated longer than any other species except for the dog. Um, so they're very used to being around people, very used to having a job, like to work, all that fun stuff. And they hang out together? Yes, they do like to live in groups. So our group of camels that we have at the zoo, we've got Klaus, who's full grown. He's about 1,200 pounds. Uh, next in line, we have Katerina here. She's two. And then uh, Kala is our youngest one on display. We actually have a new baby camel that we're actually getting ready to start uh, using for private encounters this summer as well. And that hunt stores how many pounds of, or how, how much fat? So it just kind of depends. Um, on a really, really, really healthy camel, you're gonna have a really big hump. That just means that they they have access to lots of resources. Um, baby camels are born with no hump. So our youngest camel right now kind of almost looks like a llama. She doesn't have much of a hump at all. And, and those are not eyelash extensions either. Yeah. Yes, no. no, these are all natural. She's got these beautiful long eyelashes to help keep her eyes nice and hydrated in the dry desert sand. She was born with it, Mike. Born yes. With it. Well, the other exotic we have, <laughs> wow. this guy, and this is a... Oh, oh she's... Hey, hello. Hi. Oh, somebody was... Oh, you're welcome. I said you were born with it. I know you're so beautiful. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> this is this is Allie here. Allie's a, a really young American alligator. Um, she's nowhere near full grown. Uh, she's How about three she years old. So we have large adult alligators that range in size from about seven feet to our largest being just over 12 feet. Oh, good lord. That's right. <laughs> So they get to be pretty massive. And you go in and feed those things though, don't you? That's right, matter of fact, we kick off our first alligator and croc show of the season, which is this Sunday at three o'clock. 
we go in there and hand feed some large impressive animals. Because it's, how long has it been since they've really gotten, you know, they haven't all that had food? a good meal since around last September. And there's a reason, right? That's right. Really? So they live off of the storage that's found in the, the fat in their tail. Um, kind of like camels going a long time without food or water, alligators can uh, can double that. So. so the first show is really kind of the most intense. This can right, be, right? It really can be. Yeah. These alligators come out and they're ready to feed and start replenishing that storage they've got. And starting this weekend, you're going to be open seven days a week, 10 to 7, correct? 10 to 7, that's right. With uh, educational shows around the clock, every 30 minutes, we're getting you up close and personal with something. Lots of hands-on opportunities. Animal and encounters. don't forget yes. our private animal encounters. They're a huge hit. And we're doing those again. So. And go online to register for that. And for more information, Animal World and Snake Farm, it is a great place right there on 35. Head on over to salive.com and click on the as seen on SA Live tab.